So I'd just really like to give thanks to Canva. <laughs> How good is Canva? I think they deserve an award for making graphic design stuff pretty easy for like the average person. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can remove the background in photos for your Canva images. Now this is so cool because I use this kind of thing for video thumbnails for YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that and I've always had to kind of use separate programs to go remove the background of images in one program and then bring it all into Canva to create a cool thumbnail for my video or you can do it for social media images whatever you're using now you can utilize this tool in Canva where you can actually remove the background right in Canva. So if you are a home business mom like myself and you'd like to do some of the graphics for your own business yourself or maybe you are a graphic designer doing work for other entrepreneurs online then this video will really help you. Now before we head over to Canva I must tell you you do need a pro account for this feature but I would say it is well worth the effort to have all the little extra features in Canva. Another thing that I use in the pro account for Canva is that I have all like my branding colors and my fonts and stuff already set up in there so I'm not having to go and look for my own colors and fonts all the time. I actually find that really helpful just having it already set up in there every time I go to do a new image for my social media or YouTube. Let's go over to Canva. Alrighty, here we are logged into Canva. To start, let's create a design. Click that and then choose YouTube thumbnail. You can create other social media images, but I want to create a YouTube thumbnail today. Let's go over to the left and find my uploads. And these are all my images that I have. And if you don't want to have one uploaded already, click upload your image or video. But I've got one here that I'm going to use, this one. And it's so simple. I'm going to show you how it does it all by itself. You click effects and then background remover. So you just click on it and wait a moment. It will take a few seconds. There we go. Now with this one, it has pulled up the uh, fluffy rug on my chair as well. So if you want to move that, just go over to here and click erase. And you can see here, I've got like an eraser. Now this eraser, the edges are quite harsh. So I'm sort of hoping that Canva will come out with one that sort of blends a little bit better, but you can change the brush size so you can make it bigger, which means I can then just go click. Click, click, take out that piece of hair. And you can just use it like an eraser. Although now I've accidentally erased some of my arm. Is it gonna have a really steady hand? <laughs> That's a bit weird. Let's just see if I can go back to the restore. And just, oh, there we go. It's restored a bit of that photo there, which was kind of a bit weird. Let's go back to erase and we'll try it again. <laughs> I'll just try and stay on the edge here. So you can like click and hold and sort of drag, but clearly my was not that straight. Do I look like I have a funny shaped shoulder now? <laughs> that's okay so again it's not perfect but see how I'm just going to increase the size here see how on this side it's a bit of a like softer edge whereas if I went with the eraser and went like here it creates like a bit of a harder edge and it's okay like I don't need it super perfect but obviously if you're a graphic designer this wouldn't be good enough for you because graphic designers need something much more precise oh that's a bit weird let's undo that bit I'm just going to click Control z there we go let's go back to fit okay that looks pretty cool for me that's good enough for my youtube channel let's click back out of the background remover okay cool what i want to actually do though 
because I want my image on this side, I think I'd like to flip my image. I'm going to flip that horizontally. And last time I was doing this, it took a few seconds, but that's cool. I'm just going to make that really big. I'm going to go to my background. I actually want a black background. And then I'm going to add my text. So then I would go over here and add my text. Now, what I used to do is go and use something like PicMonkey. And again, like PicMonkey, yes, you can get it much more precise, but I would have to go take my image to PicMonkey, remove the background, and I would also have little things like this I'll show you. So with PicMonkey, I did that one. See how the edges are shaded a bit more? And then this one actually even has like a glow around me. So here's another one that actually has that white sort of line around me. And that's kind of popular in some YouTube thumbnails. Let me show you one more. This one, I wanted this green outline to stand out. And it's not meant to look like perfect. It's meant to really be just eye-catching on YouTube. So hopefully Canva will sort of make this background removal thing a little bit more advanced as it goes on. But for the moment, this is totally fine. Now I'm going to add a heading. And I used font Anton for this one. I'm going to click that and just press duplicate. I want the same font radio. Okay, I want to have that as a different color. Now, see how I've said my brand colors are set up in here? Actually, make that one a bit lighter. And then I think I had a microphone, so let me go look for some elements. Okay, there you go. Again, it's not absolutely perfect. Let's show you how we could do sort of a different kind of background. Uh, sometimes I will use like a brick wall background. And obviously I'd have to change the uh, colors of this. Okay, and look, for me, that is totally fine. I think that looks super cute. And then all you do is you download your image and make sure that if you've, you know, obviously I've created two here, so maybe I just wanted to download number two, I would select only number two and then click download. There are a couple of other things that you can do with the effects here with the background remover. Um, you can do also other things like duotone. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Also, you could pixelate yourself, you could liquefy yourself. Uh, I don't know why you would do this, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that kind of looks funny. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to add that to my YouTube video. But there you go. There's a whole lot of fun things you can do in Canva. So I hope this video has helped you. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. If you have any other tips about Canva, please share them in the comments below or ask me any questions and I'm happy to answer them. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love you forever for doing that and it will really help my channel grow so that I can provide more cool videos and helpful stuff to build your business online from home around your family too. We'll see you in the next video.